systems of linear and quadratic equations. Okay, so we're going to do a couple more examples of solving systems of linear and quadratic. So remember, the first thing that's sometimes easiest to do is get everything set equal to y, and then we set everything equal to each other. So in the second equation here, I'm going to add the x over to the other side. And that's going to give me a second equation of y equals x plus 4. So then I'm just going to set everything equal to each other. Because I have my y equals x squared plus 3x minus 4, and I have y equals x plus 4. So I'm going to set x squared plus 3x minus 4 equal to x plus 4. And then I'm just going to work on solving. So I'm going to try to set it equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract this 4 over. And I'm going to subtract this x over. And that's going to cancel those out to 0 leaving me with negative 4 minus 4, which is a negative 8. 3 minus 1 x would be a positive 2 x, and then x squared. At this point, I'm going to try to factor out, see if I can make that work. That's going to give me x and x. Second sign is negative, so they're going to be different. One's positive, one is negative. Multiply together to get 8. Add together to get it to positive 2. So, uh, factors of 8 are 1 and 8, 2 and 4. So we have to use the 2 and 4, because those are the ones that could add together to get 2. So it's got to be a positive 4 and a negative 2, because my addition has to be a positive 2. So positive 4 minus 2 is a positive 2. So I'm going to set each one equal to 0. So I have x plus 4 equals 0. And I have x minus 2 equals 0. And I just solve. So I subtract the 4 over. leaving me with x equals a negative 4. And then I add the 2 over. So x equals positive 2. Once you are at this stage, we need to finish it out so that we can get an answer of a point. So I know that my first one, I have negative 4. And my other point... I know that I have an x of 2, so I just need to fill in those points. So when my x is negative 4, I'm going to take one of my equations and put in my x. So y equals a negative 4 plus 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is going to be 0. So y is 0 when x is negative 4. And the last one here, when x is 2. So I'm going to have y equals x plus 4. And I'm going to put in 2. 2 plus 4, which is 6. So y equals 6 when x equals 2. So my final answer is negative 4, 0, and 2, 6. For the next example, we already have them both set equal to y. So we can go right to the step of x squared plus 4x minus 2 equals 2x plus 1. We can set them equal to each other right away. And then when we do that, we need to just solve for 0. So I'm going to subtract 2x minus and then minus 1 from both sides. Minus 2x minus 1, giving me an equation of x squared. 4 minus 2 is plus 2x. 
negative 2 minus 2 is a negative 3 equals 0. Okay, so then comes the factoring part. X, X. Second sign is negative, so they're going to be opposite signs. 1 is plus, 1 is minus, and I need to multiply together to get a 3. So that's 1 times 3, and then I need to figure out which one's positive and which one's negative. So a positive 3 and a negative 1 will give you a positive 2 answer. So that must be it. And then I set each individual part equal to 0 to solve for x. So I have x plus 3 equals 0, and I have x minus 1 equals 0. So that when I solve, subtract the 3, I have x equals a negative 3. Or when I solve the other one, I'm going to add the 1 over leaving me with x equals a positive 1. Now I need to get down to a point where I have a point. So I know that my x is negative 3 at one of them, and at the other one, I know that my x is 1. So I just need to fill it in using one of the equations. It doesn't matter which one. I like to use the simpler one usually y equals 2x plus 1. And then you just put in what you know x is. So I have y equals 2 times negative 3 plus 1. So that's going to be negative 6 plus 1, which is a negative 5, giving us the point of negative 3, negative 5. On the other problem, if I put 1 in for x, y equals 2 times 1 plus 1, giving me y equals a 2 plus 1, which is 3. So I have the point 1, 3. My final answer, negative 3, negative 5, and 1, 3. Those are your notes over systems of linear and, and quadratic equations. Go through some of these practice problems. Make sure that you can do these and solve them if they're in a different format. And then you should be ready for your quiz.